As I said in the previous message, the Apostle Paul did not walk with Jesus, yet he did greater things than the others, for he caught on to something they hadn't seen. After he was saved on the Damascus Road, God separated Paul for a special revelation and showed him another gospel by the Spirit. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preached is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ. Paul was shown things that the other disciples hadn't caught on to. Look at what Paul says in these three verses. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel. Now to him that is of the power to establish you according to my gospel, and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead, according to my gospel. It says here that Paul's gospel had the power to establish you, and would be by this gospel that you will be judged one day. In the New Testament there are four gospels in all, the gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. But now Paul is saying that we have a fifth gospel. What's this all about? Why didn't God show the other apostles this gospel? One thing we need to realize is that the four apostles only saw everything from their side of the cross, physically. They only saw things outwardly and didn't understand, yet, the deeper spiritual truths. Paul, however, saw from the other side of the cross by revelation. He saw what was really going on at the cross. He saw into the unseen. For instance, the apostles had nothing to say about the three days that Jesus spent in the depths of the earth after he had died. Paul saw what really happened by revelation of the Holy Spirit. In Ephesians, Paul says, When he ascended on high, he led captives in his train and gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. When Jesus was raised from the dead and ascended into heaven, the four apostles only saw him go up in a cloud, and that was that. Paul, however, saw by revelation where Jesus went and what had been accomplished at the cross, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every title that can be given, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet, and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. Paul had his eyes opened by the Holy Spirit, as we will see next in Ephesians 1, 17-18.